I am making a series of videos describing how to design machines with MD Pro and SOLIDWORKS together. I will focus mainly on MD Pro and assume a working knowledge of SOLIDWORKS. We believe that the essential component of machine design is motion design. If you know exactly how machines will move before you detail and build, then you can predict how they will perform, and if you know how they will perform, then you can improve and test again, and so on. The problem is that you don't know how machines will move when all you have is a concept on paper, or maybe some simple static 3D CAD models. Well, we can build a motion-driven 3D model of a machine in MD Pro quickly. The first view you have when you start MD Pro shows the 3D model view. This shows your moving model in 3D. It is simply a viewer. Although you can do two actions from this view, uh, uh, from this view, add mechanisms and planes. Most mechanisms or sub-mechanisms in packaging machines can be represented on planes. That is, their parts move in a plane. You can still construct spatial mechanisms, as we shall, we shall see later on. So, first create a mechanism. Uh, a new view will appear showing a base part. Now we will add the parts and joints to create our first mechanisms. In this case, a crank slider. If we double click on the base part, then we can sketch some lines using the parts sketch editor. We need some points and lines to define where joints will be. Click here to get out of the sketch editor. Now we can add some parts and then connect them together using joints to make a mechanism. This part will be the crank, this the coupler, and this the slider. Uh, I'll just add it. So I need uh, two pin joints and a sliding joint to make the crank slider. So add the crankshaft pin joint, then the coupler pin joint, and finally the sliding joint between the slider and the base part. Notice that lines are needed for sliders and points for defining pin joints. Oh, also I need a pin joint between the slider and coupler. So how to move? We can drive the crank or the slider using a motion dimension. This works by driving a joint with a defined motion. Uh, in this case, let's drive the crank shaft joint. And here's the motion dimension. Now add a motion function block to drive the dimension and finally a linear motion generator. This is just a machine clock generating increasing angle values to the motion function. Then connect them all up and we should be ready to go. Now cycle the mechanism or drag it or step it, whatever you want. So I have shown you the first steps in learning how to use MD Pro for design. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add a cam and output the data from that cam to SOLIDWORKS to generate a solid cam.